And lo, flat earth researchers, debaters and debunkers. Just a quick observation and question about this uh, half moon I can see from Phuket. On February the 6th at 6 p.m., we can see that the moon will fairly soon go above my head. But uh, we are told the moon is reflecting sunlight. And I'm going to keep the camera at the same angle and turn around about 180 degrees to where the sun is setting. I've now got to bring the camera down a bit so that you can see the sunset right there. So if that sun is 93 million miles away and much more massive than the Earth, how come it is not being reflected on the lower half of this moon, which is high in the sky, well away from the Earth, apparently. We are told the moon is a sphere, and so given the current position and relation to the sun, we should be able to see that bottom half from my location here on the equator, if it is actually reflecting the sunlight coming from over there. And of course that is also if the sun is not going over there due to perspective, but we, because we are rolling away from the sun on our ball Earth. Either way, the more distant and larger sun should be being reflected on the bottom half of this moon for us to be able to see. But it's not. I don't have the answers as to why. It's a mystery to me. But I'm sure it's a mystery to every other person who actually stops and thinks about what we're told is the official version of how things work up there. Here's a screenshot from timeanddate.com showing my location with the Red Cross looking at the moon coming towards me from the east and watching the sun go away towards the west. So this is a fairly accurate representation of what I was seeing, except I'd say the, the moon appeared to be closer than it is illustrated here and higher in the sky as a consequence. Uh, so being on a, a flat map here, and if you were to make this into a circle, uh, this would uh, be a fairly accurate representation of what I was seeing. One thing to consider, though, is that uh, the Terminator line uh, dividing the, the lit half of the moon and the dark half of the moon for me was a horizontal line. I was seeing the, the top half uh, of the moon lit up uh, and the bottom half in darkness. However, someone in, say, Australia down south or someone up north in uh, China or Mongolia would see uh, a moon with a vertical terminator line, yet they would be looking at exactly the same features that I was seeing. Uh, so how, again, how can this be representative of a sphere being partially lit by a distant sun? This screenshot shows us the altitude of the moon at 1758 on the 6th of February, uh, which was 51 degrees, so that's from the horizon at zero degrees, heading up to the zenith at 90 degrees. So the altitude, it says here, was 51 degrees, and the heading, or the direction I was looking to watch the moon approach was 71 degrees east northeast you can see on the right hand side there and this screenshot of the altitude of the sun at that time 1800 just uh, two minutes later 
was just eight degrees above the horizon at a heading of 253 degrees west-southwest, right there on the horizon, which is, uh, again, pretty much how it was for me. But let's uh, bring these two uh, images together and mark with an X where I was standing, and uh, I've um, flipped these around to kind of represent the east and the west more easily and how I was seeing the moon and the sun at the same time. And uh, these uh, slopes or hills of uh, the altitudes are an excellent representation of how we actually see it through perspective. The Earth is stationary the sun and the moon move uh, closer and closer to us and they appear to rise up from the horizon, go over our heads and go down towards the horizon just as is shown right here on timeanddate.com with these sloping perspectives of those heavenly bodies. So let's just compare real-life observations with this imaginary model of the heliocentric system where we are looking down on a ball earth that is spinning clockwise and my position on the equator with a red cross looking up at the moon and across to the west to the setting sun which was apparently by this model disappearing because we are rolling away from it and going into the dark side of the earth. So what we should have seen is uh, a moon as illustrated here with a similar terminator line that you would expect uh, with the sun hitting it and reflecting off it from the left, a vertical terminator line. However, what I saw was a horizontal terminator line and as I said uh, people in the north or the south uh, of the equator would see the vertical terminator line but they would see exactly the same features none of us would be seeing any more or less of the so-called underside of the moon which is apparently being blocked so this is just one of those examples where flat earthers uh, eventually go flat because they try to match um, observations with what we are told is our reality and that is clearly false do i have alternatives no but uh the first thing we have to do is understand that what we have been told to assume and believe does not match our real-life observations, so we have to go back to square one. Thank you very much.